welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game! It has been a month. I didn't even realize this. It's been a month since we've made a video on this game. And I was like, okay, I came back. And just a little FYI, I had such an issue getting this to work. I was supposed to record an hour and a half ago. And it, like, for some reason, it was thinking my Elgato was another display. And I was like, but it's not. And I've never had this issue before. <laughs> anyway, uh, it turned out all I need to go is on like the certain settings. And then it shows your displays. And I went, just mirror. And then there we go. Hour and a half of frustration that was. <laughs> but we are here and you may notice we have 680,000 DNA as well as 21,000 bucks. Now, uh, we are here because there is... This guy has finally, finally came back. Uh, it's a almost a week-long tournament, so it's a, it's a long boy. Um, but Dilophosaur Gen 2 does have a hybrid. I can't remember what, which one it is. If we go into the Innovation Center. Let's have a look. We'll look at hybrids. It'll be one near the bottom that I don't have. Uh, is it Tyranno? No, it's not Tyranno. Quetzal. That's it. The Tyrannolophosaurus. Silly beaver. No, so I actually don't have this guy. It's interesting because it's interesting we're live and it's been in there for ages. Uh, so hopefully we'll do that. Uh, this thing's just clocked over. We got loads of things. I, like I said, we have so much DNA, so many bucks that it's like, whoa, what do I spend my all this stuff on? I've been playing this every day. The only thing I haven't gotten just yet is... Uh, Panthera unlocked. So I kind of want to do this today. Um, it's pretty much use 60 carnivores, carnivorous creatures will give us 630, which I think almost gets us there. But we, what we need to do is complete uh, 25 battles. That's super easy. So we should get Panthera in this episode as well. Uh, I just want to have a quick check to see if there's anything. Oh, -ho! a Sonosaurus for 9 million coin. Well, we got to do it. Hell no. Good God. Uh, however, Nazutoceratops, I will trade that. But I guess we could probably start working on the, um, what's it called? The other, uh, Tyranno Re Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2. Got to get that max level. Got to get the Dilophosaur max level. I think, I, is it today? Yeah, today things have just clocked over too. So we're just going to, I mean, we need to do 25 battles. And we need to use carnivorous creatures. So we'll just go all carnivores. I mean, that's pretty much the weakest that I can do. I I thought this tournament was going to be herbivores only. Or, oh, you know what it is? I don't think it's this one. There's actually two two types of tournaments coming. There's this one, which is the Dilophosaur. But there's also, um, oh, what is it? It's the Struthiomimus uh, tournament, if I remember correctly. Hello? Hold on. Hello! Yeah, it's making sure we're recording properly. And we are. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So this updated an hour and a half ago, and I always like doing it because then, as soon as it updates, the, the cup's requirements to, you know, get all the way to tippy top are very low. Oh, God, what a nightmare. <laughs> you think you have it easy with your normal jobs? <laughs> the frustration. Oh! Oh, no, tear to my eye. Yeah, I had no idea. I, I went to look because I'm doing this standing up. And of course, we're in a new setup. Um, so if you wanted to, I could lower myself. And I could say, bye. <laughs> but we'll not. Hold on. I think it was six. 106. Something like that. Yeah, that'll do. I didn't save it to memory. Stupid beaver. Um, and I, that's when I realized that it had been a month since we had recorded one of these videos. Couldn't believe it had been a month already. Um, but I guess, I, you know, I've just been waiting for something interesting to happen. Though I haven't left the game because I've just been playing it every day. Um, however, this game... Oh, straight into Prey. Although, actually, no. Hold on, that's... It's Hatchling, then Prey. So we've jumped over Hatchling halfway through Prey. I think it's like two battles to get into Prey. Or out of Prey, then four battles, then eight battles. It's something like that. I'm not too sure. I think it scales up a bit like that. It works out that way. But this game, man. Ooh, ooh, it's I've got I've got something to say about it because when I didn't have internet, every day, every day, this game updates. And this is a new thing, I'm pretty sure. 
Oh yeah, hold on, I have those lights on. Oops. I wonder if that's messing with the light. Ah, who cares anyway? <laughs> but yeah, uh, so every day it needed 600 megabyte update. Every day this game does. Don't know exactly why that happens. Um, <laughs> I can't even think of anything because very rarely, well, you don't. You don't face up against real people. So, like, you know, I'm not going to question it. Although, because I didn't have internet and I was only, you know, able to use mobile data because I didn't have Wi-Fi in, the, in this new place we moved into. We do now, which is why I can do this. Um, but I had to go to a place that had free Wi-Fi every day just so I could play this. <laughs> All the other games are fine. If they need to update, maybe it was like once a week or once every few weeks. Mainly once a week, I think, is when an update. Unless it's Joshua Live, in which case it's like once a month, if that. But most games, like once a week, that's fine. But this was every day and it was so big. I just couldn't. I, I legit couldn't do this on my mobile data. Because I think after, you know, it took me maybe a week and a bit to get internet here. We're talking gigs. Gigs for this one game. And every time you jump into the game, what's changed? Nothing? <laughs> no idea. You know what it is? I think what they're doing is they're offloading the server uh, data that they keep on their end and putting it onto you guys, onto us, the players. And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if that's what they're doing because that is really sneaky. Uh, oh God, hold on, no, it's that one. Uh, maybe that'll do. Uh, come on. Good old unicorn wizard. Do you remember that? I do. Anyway, so, so yeah, I saw, because it's like the 30th anniversary, Jurassic Park's coming up. Um, I saw people reminiscing about Jurassic Park Builder. Uh, one of the only, you know, Jurassic Park games that you can no longer play. That and Primal Ops. Although Primal Ops was unceremoniously killed in its infancy. Jurassic Park Builder got all the way to the end um, of, of its, like, life cycle. I, I feel anyway. Um, hold on, hold on, let me just... You stay there, fan. Don't move anymore, I can feel you. It's good. <laughs> I've got had my fan set on where it just turns like that. And obviously when it's face away from me, don't feel it at all. But now I do, it's so like, you stay there. Good, good for good little fan. Is it this one? Yes, good fan. Very cool daddy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. What was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, it's Jurassic Park Builder. So a lot of people reminiscing about that. And this whole update, everyday malarkey that they've got going on, I wouldn't be surprised if the reason why they're doing it is exactly as I've stated. Because Jurassic Park Builder closed, I think, not because they weren't making money from the game, because I still think they were. And Jurassic Park Builder was an old game, any device it ran on. And so you had, you pretty much got everybody could download and use the game. Um, but I think with Jurassic World, the game coming out, they probably saw a big dip in users. And then, you know, it, to keep the servers up, to update it, uh, they, you know, obviously cost a lot for their servers. So I am wondering recently if Jurassic World, the game, this game, because I know a lot of people, uh, I see in the comments, you guys comment. Um, also, before I go on, uh, on that point. If you see me saying you've won a giveaway in the comments, it's not me, okay? Just putting that out there. For, ever, for everyone who's made it this far in the video, I hope everybody has. <laughs> um, if you see a giveaway, you probably have. Um, it, it's, it's weird. If you see someone who thinks they've won a giveaway, just tell them it's not me. Because for some odd reason, people still fall for it. Maybe it's kids, but also the bots are still doing it. And there's no way for me to stop them because they just make new accounts or make a new title, make a new phrase in order to bypass it. It's so frustrating. Um, but yeah, I see it in the comments. Everyone's saying that... Um, oh, that's Struthia Minus. There we go. You can barely see it there, hidden in the darkness. Great. Don't you look good there? Is it that way? Is it that way? Don't you look good there? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> It's been so long I, since I've edited this, I have no idea. No earthly clue, dear. But uh, yeah, I think that maybe 
because the, I, because it's this game's been out since 2015. We're talking about eight years. This game's been out, and I think why didn't he kill me? Oh, he couldn't kill me in one hit. Wow. Okay. Uh, I feel like maybe the player base has slowly drifted off because, like I said, I seen the comments. There we go. We got there eventually. Um, are people saying I stopped playing this game, but I still watch your videos? Being me. Uh, because it feels like we you know we're, we you, we've been on this journey together and we're still chugging along. We refuse to stop it. Um, <laughs> as many people have tried to stop it, but none of them have succeeded yet. Maybe one day. But right now, we Gucci. So maybe the playbase has dropped off for this game. I'm not too sure. Uh, it's a theory. Maybe that's why. Uh, the, the, you've got giant updates being downloaded every freaking day for this game. Um, and that's my tinfoil hat. Um, because it, it's costing them too much to have all of this data saved on their servers. So in order to offload that onto you guys, they hold less, cost them less to run. And all you have to do is download 600 megabytes every day. Um, and you know if you're, you, you have Wi-Fi and you pay a certain amount, I mean, it doesn't affect you at all, really, because you're still paying for it and you don't have a limit, unless you do have a limit on Wi-Fi. But if you're out and about in your mobile data, you now can no longer play this game, but really no one's playing this game out and about. So I can't believe I, th I think I just I think I just found out why why we have a massive update every day. It's because they're just trying to save money. <laughs> and it would make sense as well this co coinciding not too long after the takeover from Jam City, uh, which was the new parent company of Ludia. Ludia is still a thing, a bit like Ubisoft and Fgol. Ubisoft uh, kind of took over Hungry Shark. Um, and speaking of that, there's new Hungry Shark Primal, which I can't get access to um, because it's only in a certain region. And then it's even then it's only on Android. So you need an Android device or a phone is probably the best way to play it. Uh, you can probably get past it with uh, VPNs and stuff like that. Maybe I should just play it on my phone and then stream it to that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, I need to try that, actually. That's just something I've thought about. Um, right. But before we carry on, I'll just quickly collect this because we're going to get uh, Panthera. Almost haven't, actually. So we just need four more battles of that and seven more carnivores, which is three more battles. So four more battles. We've got everything. Also, hold on. Hold your horses. They made this a lot... I don't know. It looks more basic, but it's pretty much the same premise. Did we win anything good? No. I never win anything good when I do these. Uh, yeah, it was all DNA. Actually, I won the... Um... Ooh, Parasol Lux. Uh, nah, I'm okay. I'm not going to do that one. Unless I have a mission for the tickets. Yes, I do. It's 220, but really, we are so close. And then after that, it's a thousand extra in order to get a hundred VIP. Yeah, they've, they've expanded this pass. Uh, and really, the, uh, there's... I mean, I guess you could get two Panthers if you did 18,000. That's crazy. 18,000. I've only got 6,000. So you need to really do every freaking day um, in order to unlock two Panthers. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of good. So we'll jump back into this. All we need to do is carnivores. I think, yeah, we'll just do one more free one. Oh, it's all free. Well, we've definitely done that mission. Uh, plonk you in, take you out. And now we need to be a little bit more careful. I think we've risen to maybe the silver lead. I can't remember. Maybe, maybe. Um, hmm. That, those dinosaurs don't look like silver. What's it called again? The survivor. Hunter. I feel like it might be hunter. Predator. Prey. Praise? No, I have no idea. What. <laughs> you can tell it's been a month since I've played this game. And just like my last place, I do not have any AC in here. It's fantastic. <laughs> Actually, to be, fun, to be honest, I think this was a walk-in closet at one point. Because there's like railings above. Like, that way and that way. However, what's really good about this is that it can use those railings for lights and recording. So what once what would have been like, I don't know, one being like, oh, yeah, shall I have this dress? Ooh, or, or does this go with this? Kind of works for me. I just put, oh, it's a light there. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about that, Dimash. No 
need to worry, bam. I wonder if I still have the old, I think I do have the old unicorn wizard assets. Maybe, I because I used to save everything so I could easy drop it in to Premiere Pro when I was editing. So I don't have to like reanimate everything. I just have it in and just slide it around a little bit. But I, I, that probably even predates when I did that. Oh God, I don't even think I have the original save file. It's crazy when I think about how far this 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 game has been. Like how long ago it's been in my life, and it's still it's still here, which is madness. Wait, we're still survivor. Oh, there we Hunter League. That's the one. So we've literally only got two more. We've only been battling for what quarter of an hour, if that. Doesn't time fly? You've been sat on the toilet for far too long. People will get worried about you. You might have fallen down. Uh, we got. I think one, two, three. Yeah, take out you. And we're not getting many cups. That's the only thing. And as you saw, yeah, we were way overpowered, even though we're using like level one Guanlongs and stuff. It's, um, I still think we're going to be maybe level 20. Super rare will be the max. I mean, yeah. Oh, look at that. I, I really shouldn't have put in this, this Acrocanthosaurus. It's a bit too OP. Uh, when I look at their attack, 200. Acrocanthosaurus, 1,000. Oh, but you know, Quan Long only 28. <laughs> Hopefully, it pulls it down just a little bit, but I think I might be just a little bit too powerful. Ah, I don't know. I mean, it's all about time, right? Just save time. Just clicky, clicky, boom. I didn't even need to click two. Don't know why I did that. I could probably just go all out and do loads, just all out attack now. And I probably wouldn't die. Let's just be right. Again, I... I want a better arena. This arena, you hear me, I have a broken record, but it's because nothing changes. I want a different arena, at least mix it up. Oh, I know why they do it, because, well, this is the, you know, this is the tournament. But to be fair, it's not just the tournament. This arena that we're in right now is the arena for pretty much everything. Um, that's Jurassic. The only time it's not this arena is when you do like PVPs and you do the helicopter pad. But I would so rather see the helicopter pad than I would this. I don't know, Ludi. I Maybe, or if you were looking to get active members back again, have an arena that's nice to look at. Yeah? Maybe? Maybe I would like to see my dinosaurs in combat. Can you even see that street of Ivers? Ah, God. <laughs> look at it. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? What? City? I would? Wait, how? <laughs> uh, 20 again. I, I think 20 is the lowest we can get. So, uh, slowly clawing our way. An hour and a half ago, I'd probably be in the uh, the gold league now. 20 bucks. Okay, that reimburses us for four battles. Uh, let's go. Carnival. I literally think this might be the last battle we need to do before we can just use herbivores again. And thinking about where these guys were. Oh, let's use Toro. Yeah, I never used Toro. We just got Toro in Jurassic World Alive. Forget that's even here in this one. Probably because it's only level 20 and we probably haven't unlocked it. It'll be one of those uh, like Panthera, you know, the battle pass sort of thing. I like how our dinosaurs lit up, yet their dinosaur isn't. So you know what? If you want to just keep this arena, the way it is, how about just shine a light on the uh, on the enemy dinosaur? I mean, it would help me see it. <laughs> yes, look at Toro, gorgeous. Wait, was was it even darker for a second there? I think it might have been even darker for the enemy. Oh yeah, oh you can definitely tell that Toro is a new dinosaur because its graphics on its model are so much uh, in deep, like they're way more detailed than this Ostafrikasaurus, whatever it's called. It is Ostafrikasaurus. It looks bald. <laughs> I'm used to seeing it with its, like, sail on this back. Uh, Gorgosaurus actually goes for a hit? Scary. Actually quite scary. Um, I am gonna have to block for two because I might die. Here we go. Here we go. This one was a close one, actually. I noticed now that Toro's attack, that's what I was looking at, is really high. Or like on par, but its health is really low. 
And if I... If I hadn't went for those blocks, I think that would have killed me. If I'd went for one block, I would have died there. If I went for two... Oh! Come on. Give me, like, 40 or something here. Lego Tor has got a wider, wider thing. Although, unfortunately, it sounds like a T-Rex. It has the animation. 35! There we go. Basically, one and a half battles. And that pays dividends then. We went up 10 last time. We went up 30 that time. Yo, give me the pack. I want the pack. Yeah. Okay, there's 630. Boom! We need 7,250. I think that might have done it. We need one more battle. And yes, there we go. Beautiful. Can we get a... Yes, Panther unlocked. Uh, you know what we can do? We could just, like, get Panther right now. Dino for free. Uh, carnivores... Do, 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 should be here. Now, in comparison to Lithornax, it has... Ooh, that's not so bad. 900 extra health. And only, like, 200 less attack? It's not the worst. Not the best thing. We'll use one of our instant hatches as well, just to get it straight away. And now, not if we somehow manage to even double our existing points, we would not have enough uh, points in order to get the second panther. So max you can get is, like, a level 20. And you don't really notice it. What's interesting, Panther is one of the four lethal electrosoldiers trained by Soyona Santos. Is it Soyona? I thought it was Sayona. Sayona Santos, like S-A-Y. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Honestly, as, as somebody um, showed me, like, the, um, the Jurassic World Alive update that they posted, and it was so, it was filled with so many spelling mistakes. Um, but the reason is, like they're in Montreal, so I think like the, the main language is French, so they translate it, and it gets lost in translation. I think that's the main reason for it. What else do we have? I, I trust our are trained in yeah, ha. Uh -huh. I trust our brothers stand roughly six, uh -huh. Panther is distinguishable from other members of its pack by its red orange color. I mean, I was expecting as much. <laughs> I won't lie. I was kind of expecting it to be like that because you've got you're probably gonna have four Trosseraptors. You need four bits of information, so that's like sixteen bits of information you've got to write for each uh, Trosseraptor. I think, and you know what? I thought that well, not blue, but uh, Ghost would have been the one with the most amount of uh, things about it because it was you know it's Ghost. It's the one that looks it's white in comparison to the other ones, which are like orange and red, uh, including red, which is one. But I, th I think Ghost chases Owen Grady, and that's it. It's either Panther or Tiger or Red, which have the most screen time in Dominion, which is interesting. I think maybe Ghost might be the one that clings on at the end, though. So maybe I'm wrong there. Anyway, th there's some more. But we pretty much... It doesn't even matter now. I need a thousand extra points. I'm not going to get it. So we're going to go into... <gasps> Ooh, lead sick these. Wait up. Uh, Ooh, guaranteed 100 bucks and 50. Oh, right, hold on. What else we got here? T-Rex escape, which is one battle. And we get a guaranteed T-Rex as well as bucks. Okay, hold on. What, what I, mm, what's this one? Mm, but that's like loads of battles, though. This is just one strong T-Rex. And all I need to do is put in, I don't know, like these guys? Ah, 16,000. I have to go for about eight attack. I have to go for a full on eight attack. And I've used my best, so I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with this. And again, give me a different battle arena, please. Like every arena is that one. <laughs> or make a new one, you know, get people excited. You don't just have to make a new dinosaur, make a new arena. Right, okay, so super Kool-Aid um, can survive one hit. So we'll go for one block, two reserves, swap out to a limbo -lim -lim -lim. Oh, it went for it, okay, okay. Um, oh yeah, I, I double my attack, don't I? That's, I forgot about that. And then we go for four reserves. Hopefully it just goes for an all out attack. It's not a guaranteed kill. But, even one, 
I think might save us. Okay, so he has to go for five now. And I think it has exactly five. Oh, no, it has four. Okay. Okay. Uh, right, so it's got one block. I think we've done it. Yeah. I think we've done it. Even with... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not, actually, because it'll block one, so we only do six. We just have to swap, and then we're just going to take an action. And I don't know how confident I am. Well, 572 T-Rex. Just go for four. If you go for three, I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll humor you. Go on then, let's see. 2,000 attack. Of course that doubles every time. It has one block, and we kill it. Oh, I think we... Yeah, I think if it even had two blocks, we might have killed it. Oh, easiest pack of my life. Heck yeah. So what do we get for this? T-Rex escape. 50, 50, 150 bucks. A T-Rex as well as a whopping 80 VI proponents. They are really spoiling us there. <laughs> Please look these. Yeah, that's four battles. Four... Yeah, okay. And the raptors, the raptor twin pack, and that is also kind of deadly. We're just going to carry on with the Dilophosaur because it can. And now we can just put in anything we want. Um, let's put that little thing in. Put the little Alpha Celerarchis Brew. <laughs> oh, God, we could do it. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. I really want something. Something. Other than hybrids to be put in this game. Obviously, somewhere along the line, Moody decided new dinosaurs, hybrids is the way to go. And that's all we do now. Um, I mean, they made the raptor like boosts and modifications. But if I'm going to be honest, unless I have a mission or something in particular that I'm going to get out of them, I'm not going to do them. I think everybody else feels that way. So maybe because of that, because no one's doing the game mode or whatever that they put in, they've just decided, right, okay, we didn't see any return for that. All the effort that was put in. But we see every time there's a new dinosaur put in, a spike in, in users. So maybe we just put new dinosaurs in all the time. But unfortunately, we, we, you need more than that. When you were putting new dinosaurs in all the time, as well as new arenas and stuff like that, it worked. Can't just put in a dinosaur and go, that's what we do now. <laughs> we're, we're a glorified encyclopedia. Return-based combat at that point. No, I want, I want different battle arenas. I want different modes. I remember when I went back, to, you know, when I went to see them that one time, um, I mentioned about, you know, uh, like battles that would swap like a rotation battle and stuff like that um, oh wait, something along those lines it was basically, I remember it was in Pokemon at the time and I thought to myself that would be really cool, it would kind of work in this game, so let's try it and uh, yeah, obviously they didn't care for it <laughs> Um, I remember I, I not too long, well I recently not too long ago, recently I um I came up with an idea for Jurassic World Alive and I pitched it. I, I just sent it to my contact at um, Ludia, and hopefully it'll you know work its way somewhere in. Um, and it was basically just about darting. You know, you have oh uh, you know you have battle passes and stuff like that. You, you can have that, but when you go darting, maybe you choose a trail. And you've got to, you know, you walk so many steps or such a distance and you uncover dinosaurs to do with that trail, eventually leading up to you getting an encounter with whatever you've, you've, you want to, to uh, search for. So a bit like in The Lost World, how um, Roland Tembo was wanting to hunt a T-Rex, a buck, a male, how and why are my concerns and stuff like that. So how about you have a game trail? You know, okay, we're going to dart the T-Rex, or we're going to dart, you know, a dinosaur or maybe a creature, I guess, like, like it could be the direwolf that you want the DNA for. I don't know. It would be cool. And, you know, if you just entered, you very rare, I mean, in the map, there's only one dinosaur you come across. It pops and it's one dinosaur. 
make it multiple. Spice it up a little bit. Maybe you found two T-Rexes or you found a pack of wolves and you've only got a certain time limit. You know, you can dart or maybe even, how about instead of that one battery, make it double the length. You, you, there's no cap on it um, and it gets faster and faster and faster until eventually it runs out of the screen or something like that. Because I've had it happen to me before where um, dinosaurs will just run off and um, I think to myself, wait, what? I wasn't through darting it, but it's just because it ran out of the loaded area. Anyway, that is a completely different game to what's happening here, which is a slow grind to getting Dilophosaurus. Gen 2. A dinosaur that came out probably a year ago. I can't even remember. I would have had a reason why I didn't collect it. Something was going on. Maybe, um, what is it? Uh, Jurassic World Evolution had an update. Maybe they it was like the uh, new DLC and I needed to cover it. So I spent all day recording multiple episodes, editing the episodes. And by the time I knew it, I just had no time and I couldn't go on and spend because it really does. And this one, because it's a six day tournament, basically, it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of cups to do this. If you left everything to the last minute, I wonder how long it would take to get into Dominator League in order to unlock Dilophosaurus. I wouldn't be surprised if it would take eight hours. I wouldn't, honestly. Like, just basically a solid day of just playing this game. And to me, what about you guys? But kind of seems like a bit unfair. I don't know, I mean, it's just a bit grindy. Unfortunately, what they've, they've done with this game is they made battles mundane. Battles were always cool. I mean, when you're progressing your dinosaurs, you're taking on the next best thing. And that's great up to the point when you reach your best dinosaurs. And then there is no next best thing. It's just the same battles over and over again. I mean, this is what we're doing right now. It's getting tougher, but it's not really. All I'm doing is using dinosaurs that are kind of a similar level so that I can maybe squeeze just a couple more trophies uh, to make it a faster grind. <laughs> I'm trying to save myself some time. Even then though, using Tapi Jello Cephalus um, is way too OP. But I don't want to be here for another hour. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> so there we got five extra air uh, cups. And oh, we're number one, baby! Number one! Mewtwo. <laughs> I don't know. Was it Jay Witz used to do that? Number five! Right, okay, here we go. Three, take you out. I mean, Tapajala was way too OP for what I was facing. We need something lower down. Maybe a Margasaur. The 800 attack. We're number one now, so we're basically in the gold league. Um. Oh! Oh, that is nasty. Zalmoxis is actually a good one for us because it has such little um, health that we can definitely kill it in two. Then this is a matchup in their favor, 100%. But luckily, because of my tactic, Oh no! 10% battery! Oh god! <laughs> I started with 50%. And then I was faffing around for so long. That I think it went down to 38%? Oh god, will we even get it? Will we even get I don't even know. <laughs> if it cuts out, it cuts out. We'll have to get some dinosaur toys and pretend that we're. Oh look there! Oh, that takes all that is! Still, we'll never forget that. When I was recording this and recording them daily, and didn't have time to fix any edits or errors that was made in the game. Um, one time my capture corrupted for a bit. But the, it was like what would happen in the game was really cool. So instead of just scrap it, that was lucky. That was really lucky. Uh, instead of scrapping that segment, I just got dinosaurs that were similar and just played like set my iPad to uh, like webcam or whatever you want to call it, camera. And I just went, eh, and just made it up. But I remember one comment. I don't remember who you are. I mean, I remember what you said. I don't remember who exactly said it, but it stuck with me. Got me right there, right in the meow meow. 
Uh, they said, this is why I like you, Beaver. You put in the extra effort. <laughs> you didn't need to get those dinosaur toys out and just mess with them. I went. I did do it for you. Right, here we go. And we are in the top 5% in the Predator League. We might be able to do it, actually. We, we jumped up 10. So if we can get a... Nine battles, we might get to dominate a league. Remember, every time you, you get to another league, you have even more chance of getting the pack. Now, I say that when also at the same time, I've only ever won one pack. And like, you know, you know, I've hopped on about long enough. That was the most so. I have never, ever won another tournament creature. Then again, I never ever played the tournament like I did the most so tournament. That was literally two days solid, solid of doing battle after battle. Moment I woke up to the moment I slept. Um, it, well, I'd say it was almost two days. It got to the evening of the second day. Um, Cause I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep. It was all, it was probably about 36 hours from when the tournament started. And I, I just kept on going, kept on going. Cause you know, there was, mm, you couldn't really hack the game because it was so new people hadn't got it and there was no way to get the pack so even if you hacked the game which maybe you could you couldn't get it because it wasn't a dinosaur that was in the market and i think that's how hacks work they have to be available somehow they have to be in a pack they have to be bought in a marketplace because once you've got a hack on your game you can just spend fake money or and you can generate whatever currency you need but because the, the most was only available if you got it in the spin wheel Hackers would have to, you know, hack the game, basically. Uh, oh, sorry, they'd have to play the battles just like a regular person, and, and it was the same percentage chance. And it was when I saw people posting on the Facebook groups that they had actually got it, that it just kept me going, because I, I knew for a fact those people hadn't hacked the game, and they had won it. Um, but that was, I'm gonna say like 2016, maybe 2017, at a push, when they put Aquatics in. Even then, I have never, ever won another pack. Okay, there we go. 12. 12, I'll take that. It's, it, it's up to my iPad now. The pressure's on. <laughs> Do I have, like, thinking music? No, that's not the thinking music. No. 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 None of those. Do I not have? Nope. I, I don't have it. Never mind. <laughs> I have a lot of things on my signboard, but the, the millionaire music, the do do do, I, I should definitely put that on. I don't have enough buttons, that's the problem. I only have 12, and they're all used. Elias, okay. And that's another thing, actually, because I have got internet, I can do the live stream and react to your guys' um, dinosaur toy collections. That was something I was really looking forward to, but it just so happened that I was moving. And I had no internet, so I couldn't do it. But yes, I will get on that. Maybe this weekend, maybe we could do it. Perhaps Sunday? Sunday we could probably do it. Because uh, Saturdays are reserved for Path of Titans. It has been now for probably two or three months. The most amount of content I've made on a game like The Isle that takes a lot of effort to edit. And I've been doing it solid for months. Eventually, I'll run out of things to cover. But because it has mods and I haven't played all of the vanilla things in it, I probably won't. We could probably just do this forever. <laughs> probably not forever. But uh, never say never. Um, let's do that. Oh, wow. If he blocked a single time, which he might have. God, I remember when Therizinosaurus came into the game. God, yeah. It was with a... An update that added not only there is a source, but it was also, I think, Ophacodon was in there as well, which is a rare. Whereas now, it, and Postosuchus actually as well was one of those dinosaurs, that, or, you know, uh, prehistoric creatures that was put in the game at the same time. And that was so cool, because especially with Jurassic Park Builder, by the time it got to the end of its life cycle, it was only um, the best dinosaurs. Only the best dinosaurs were added. So it was only legendaries. Um, but it seemed like Jurassic World, the game was going in a different direction, where it was constantly trying to add, um, like, build up the roster of dinosaurs, which was really cool. And Jurassic World Live even did it to an extent. 
and still does it? Yeah, Dresser One Live still does it. it still put it. They still put in um, ingredients, but that's really why they put them in. They put in those dinosaurs because they know that people are gonna have to nap. That is the worst team for me. My my one good dinosaur is a Tyrannodon, and they're all herbivores. <laughs> Game's like. We're going to make this battle last the longest, so your battery will run out. Okay, so I can kill you. I have a lot of health, so I can tank whatever this next thing brings to me. Now, those are VIP creatures, so it's very, very powerful. However, this one's more powerful. <laughs> and there's a lot more health. Um, it's the Mud Skipper dinosaur, if I remember correctly. At level 40, anyway goes for one. I think we can do this. And you know what? If you're going to make the battles super, super repetitive, at least allow me to speed up. We all know that these aren't real people. God, we've been through this a million times. Just let me speed up the process. Stop adding a fake think timer to make it, you know, look like they're contemplating their, their decisions and they're planning out a strategy. And they're not. Literally an algorithm that says, wait until 15 and then do da da da. Um, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't- Oh, it has a block, damn it. Oh, luckily it's only one. It's only one hit. <sighs> this is- I feel like the next one, Ehrlichosaurus, doesn't have too much health, so. Oh, it even swaps to it. And swap again. That'd be brilliant. Okay, goes for two. That's really good. Would have preferred one, though. Okay, so one, two, three kills. A factor in that one. Go for two block. Didn't go for the one. He's going to have five. I don't think three kills me. I think we've won this. I might have to go for a Hail Mary all attack if it doesn't attack me here. Because chances are, it's not going to go for a four block. Please attack. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, we've done it. We've done it. I deserve 40 cups for this. That was... That was well outclassed here. Although it was a legendary hybrid, yeah, but the VIPs are, are onto their own. Again, a bit like Dressel World Live, this thing is completely messed up when it comes to power levels. It's like Dragon Ball Z. You've got vi VIP creatures, which are better than epics, but then you've got epic or legendary hybrids, which aren't good as VIP. But sometimes they are that way better. Now, what is going on? <laughs> Come on. Oh, the 5%! Oh! It's gonna be close, man! It's gonna be really close! Uh, let's go with you. Go with you. Lots of attack. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, God. There's no way for me to charge it, either. I used to have a, a splitter which allowed a power to go in. Don't have that anymore. Maybe they, they, they might make them, actually. I don't know. Right. Uh, a carnivore. Not the best. But not the worst. I suppose, as a team. The last battle was way worse. Oh god, my iPad is... Heating up something just <laughs> disastrous. <laughs> I can't remember, it's heat or cold that drains batteries. I think it's cold. I think cold drains the battery quite a bit. It's definitely not cold in here. There we go. Dimetrocarnus! Carnaraptor Carna was one of the best dinosaurs in the game, and then they added a super hybrid to it. I think it's a super hybrid. Okay, so we still cut it in two. Can't kill me in two. Oh, come on, man. Oh, I've got 5% battery here. Okay, okay. So, one, two, three. We'll factor in one just in case. Oh, thank you. Get rid of that. That 900 damage gets turned into 300. So even after two hits, it still doesn't do as much as one hit from the other one. Pretty sure. Very close if it did. If it does. And that's it. I think. Yeah, just go for four. Boom. If I can be fast, get all them down. I'll be the fast one. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh my god, the five percent though. They had fifty percent on this battery. Right, that takes me to... Yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we get 12 each time! Which does mean we only have to do about... Oh, what, what are we on even? What? What's a... 37. 37. 
Oh, we need to do three more battles. It's going to be so tough. Oh. And even then, we need to get a good battle. A close one. So that we get more cups. Maybe. Maybe. That one's good. That one's good. I like that. <laughs> Either way, I mean... We're going to get there. In six days' time, we will come back to this and we will have Dilophosaurus Gen 2. What I will do, actually, is put all of the T-Rexes in the incubators. Because I think they probably take a week to hatch. Because we need to get them to level 40. Although, this is the thing with this game. I'm spending... I've saved all this DNA. What for? Another carnival. <laughs> I still don't have Chroma Spiners maxed up to level 40. Maybe I do. I feel like I made a thumbnail with that this year at some point. Yeah, I can't remember. Oh my god. Okay. Um, Did he swap? Or did he just go for one? I'm going to go for that. I th Just kill it. Kill it. Um... Please, don't have more than four. Don't have. Th it's gonna do it. No, no, damn it! And the thing is, you can't quit with these battles. So all I can do now is pretty much just go for that attack, which is gonna do absolutely nothing. And oh, that's the, that's the last thing I needed. The last thing I needed. Oh, especially when I've got 5% battery. Come on now. That was a super hard battle. Okay. I don't know how much battery we got. So, what I will do is I will put those Rexes in there. I, I feel as though I have that. Uh, we've got more missions. There's the 220 of doing the battles. Uh, oh, do the T-Rex escape. Okay, that's good. Still have never got those blimps. <laughs> but let's have a look. Get dinosaur. Uh, carnivores. I feel as though I don't... I won't have it. It'll be... I think it's a tournament creature. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Okay, so 3,000. Put you in... We could do instant hatches, but three days is all I need. Um, we'll do that next one. Carnivores. Uh, yes, there you are. Okay, T-Rex, activate. I like how it tells you now how much it costs to put them in. Because before, it was kind of just, well, if you know, you know. But now, you can see it in 50. Although they haven't made the prices any cheaper. They've just made you save. <laughs> Uh, look at that. 3,000 or 2,000 for an Indoraptor, which is way, 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 way better. Um, and because we've just done one of those eggs, uh, we've only got two left, which I guess isn't so bad. Um, because then it started the timer for them cooling down. And you always want to start that timer because if you don't, you're just losing time when you could have used it. But it's still bucks at the end of the day. This one, not so bad. I guess because it's starting with Segnosaurus. I suppose. Indoraptor Gen 2 at level 10, though. That is a very good creature. But then again, we do have a level 2 Metrophodon. Metrophodon is also really good. But the Dimetrodon, or Dimorphodon, sorry, is letting that side down hard. Yeah, oh, I feel like this is 25 cups. I mean, if we faced what we faced before, it would have been an easy 30 cups. But this, this feels like a 25 cupper. I mean, you can. I'd love if you did damage to me, because maybe then the game thinks, oh, it was a closer game than what it should have been. Uh, that 1,000 attack goes down to 400 if we just kill that thing. So we may as well just kill it. One hit would have killed it. One hit, one hit would have sufficed, even. And then Demorphodon. Oh, oh God. Oh, it's been like 50 minutes, though. Wow. We almost did it within an hour. If my battery wasn't going to give up, because it will do at some point. <laughs> and then it'll just be me and you. Okay, what do we think? I'm thinking 25. I'm thinking 25. 
don't think it's gonna be higher than that. Oh, 29, never mind. Okay, come on. Come on, 23. Two more, two more, just two more battles. Can that 5% hold on? Is it gonna be one of these cases? Cause it's an Apple product that 1% will last forever. Or will it legitimately die in the next few minutes? Find out now. <laughs> Come on, come on. Oh, God. That's like a... Tw uh, that's a 25. The fact that they're herbivores. Maybe the game knows that I'm an interruptive. But there is a level 19 Postasuchus. Or pre Prestasuchus. Can't remember. It's the good one. Postasuchus is the silver. I don't know what this one's called. Come on. Get over it. Speed it up. Come on. Please. Love of God. <laughs> oh, yes. Interruptor, slowly crawl. Oh, you, how impressive you are. Kill it. Yes, there we go. Good, good, good. Press the sutures. That's it. Okay, press the sutures. Do your thing. Do a, a massive amount of hits. You know you want to. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, why? Okay, one, two. One, two. And then one block just because. And I factor in the two. Boom! Press is just killed. 1,200 attack gets turned into 189. <laughs> oh, it was even weaker than the first one we faced up against. Bless it. God, I, I, you know what? I was on the channel before because there was a game I was thinking of. It, it just popped into my head and I couldn't remember what it was called. And I was like, oh, what was that game? Where you had dinosaurs attack villages and you got orbs and stuff. Oh, what was it? Because I did a voice. And I, Hello! That like old man voice. Um, oh, even more, apparently. Oh, come on. Come on, go, go. One more. Come on. We got this. Just 500 cups. It's probably 500. Oh, this is it, guys. You, you can't skip. You, you've got to watch. You've got to watch whether we get there or not. Like the good old days. Another interrupt. Just put in the inter just Do it. We don't have time for this. But yeah, it was Tiny Dino, Tiny Dino World. I can't remember. I had, to, I had to look up. Um, I think it was Bogdan. <laughs> I knew he played it loads. It's like that. I know he's done it. If it exists, he, it'll be on his channel. And it was. I was like, oh, it's Tiny Dino World. Because that game died because of some weird publisher contract that ended. Which is really strange to think about that. Um, but I think it turned out that it was a Chinese game. So there was some... There was obviously like an international contract. Um, and, then, and then it came back. And it was called something like Return of Tiny Dino World, or Return to Tiny Dino World. But then, I don't even think that lasted more than a few months, because the player base must have completely died. Because you had to start over. And no one wants to start over. And it was all basically the, the same things. And that's why I think I only made one video on it, and that was it. And I was done. <gasps> no! No! We didn't do it! No! We died! Oh, damn it! No! We're one battle away! One battle! Oh, well, anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video. <laughs> I'll see you in, in in six days' time when the tournament will come to an end and hopefully, fingers crossed, second time's the charm, we'll unlock Dilophosaur Gen 2. <sighs> I mean, do I want to really spend bucks, like, maxing it up? Not really, but we just need to get one. One Toronto Metrodon. In six days' time, I'll have even more DNA and more books, and then maybe we'll speed it up. I know we can do three or four, is it? I can't remember. I think it's three eggs. Of course, the fusions isn't a problem, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye bye.